Hello, Paula Danielli from Crochet Hooks You here. Today I'll be showing you how to make the child size version of my crochet beanie hat design. The materials required are Red Heart with Love yarn and I am using it in the colour of caramel and this is a medium worsted weight yarn, a category 4. Now with that yarn I'll be using a 6.5 millimetre hook. You'll also need your craft scissors and a yarn needle. To get started, we'll make our slip knot. Leaving enough tail to weave in later on. Then you'll pop your hook in and we're going to chain five. We'll make five chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll be making a slip stitch into this first chain stitch. And that's to form a ring and we'll be working into this ring. We'll also be working over this end tail. So to start round one, we're going to chain two. So make two chain stitches. So there's one and two. And that counts as one double crochet stitch. So you will count that when you count your stitches. That is in is included in your count. So just just a little reminder there. So working over our tail as we go, we'll be doing 15 double crochet stitches into the ring. So there's one, just holding your tail. I'll show you the back here. You want to make sure that that yarn tail is over the hook like that so you're actually working it into your work as you go. So that's our second double crochet stitch plus our chain two. three, four, five, and I'll let you continue until you've made 15 and I'll see you there. Okay, so I've made my 15 double crochet stitches into the ring and now we're going to join into the top of the chain two that we made at the start of this round. So you can see there's the first chain and there's the second. So we want to join into the top. So we're going to go through both loops of that chain two. And then do a slip stitch to join this round. So at the end of round one you'll have a count of 16 stitches 
and that's because you count the chain 2 as one stitch and your 15 double crochet stitches so therefore you have 16 stitches and now you can turn this over and just pull the center tight like that and with our yarn needle later we will weave that end in around there so now we're up to round two we'll start off with a chain two one two and we're going to start a repetitive sequence and the first part is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch that's this one here There's our first double crochet into that stitch. Now we're going to make a second one into that same stitch. Now the second part of the re repetitive sequence is one double crochet into the next stitch. And that's all there is to this round. So you'll just keep repeating. So two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, and repeat that right around until you get to your last stitch. And then I'll show you what we do with our last stitch. I'm up towards the end of round two. And you can see that this is our last stitch here. Now with our last stitch we're going to do two double crochet stitches into that same stitch. Here's our first one into the same stitch, the second one. And there you can see our join from the previous round and here's our chain two. So there's one, two. We want to join into the top of the chain two. So we want to go under both loops of that second chain. Make a slip stitch to join. So that's the end of round two and at the end of round two you should have 24 stitches so for round three we'll start off with a chain two Now we're going to start a repetitive sequence and the first part of the sequence is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch which is this one here. There's one and into the same stitch we do our second double crochet stitch now the second part of the repetitive sequence is one double crochet into each of the next two stitches so we do one double crochet into that stitch and one double crochet into that stitch
there's one into that stitch and then move on to the next one and one double crochet into that stitch so you're going to repeat that sequence right around so the sequence again was two double crochet stitches into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and you're repeating that right around up until the last two stitches and I'll show you what to do with those now I'm up towards the end of round three and with these last two stitches that we have here this one here we're going to do two double crochet stitches into this same stitch so there's one and we'll do a second one into that same stitch Now into the last stitch, we'll just do one double crochet stitch. Now we're ready to join into the chain two. So there's one, there's two. So we're just going to get up under both loops of the chain two like that make a slip stitch to join now that's the end of round three so at the end of round three you'll have 32 stitches So to start round four, we'll chain two, one, two, and then we're going to be starting a repetitive sequence. So we'll be doing a two double crochet stitches into this next stitch. Is one and then we make our second double crochet into that same stitch now the second part of the repetitive sequence is one double crochet into each of the next three stitches so one double crochet into each of those stitches So one into the next stitch, one into the next stitch, and one double crochet into the next stitch. So the repetitive sequence once again is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, one double crochet into each of the next three and you repeat that sequence right around until you get to the last three stitches and then I'll show you what to do with the last three stitches. I'm up towards the end of round four and I've got one, two, three stitches left here so with this next stitch we're going to do two double crochet stitches into that stitch there's one and into the same stitch a second double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet 
and do the last stitch here, one double crochet. There you can see our join from the previous round and here is our chain two and we're joining in the top of the chain two remembering to get underneath both the loops of that chain two. All of a sudden it's got a bit slippery on me. There we go. So we just make a slip stitch to join that round. So that's the end of round four. So you can see one, two, three, four. And at the end of round four, you should have 40 stitches. For round five, we'll start with a chain two. One, two. And we're going to start a repetitive sequence and it starts off with two double crochet stitches into this next stitch. There's one, and into the same stitch. We do our second double crochet. Now the next part of the repetitive sequence is one double crochet into each of the next four stitches along. So one here, 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 and here. So into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet so that will be your repetitive sequence right around so once again it's two double crochet stitches into the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the next four stitches and then repeating the sequence right around up until the last four stitches and then I'll show you what to do with the four stitches so now I'm up to the last four stitches here towards the end of round five and in this next stitch here, we'll be doing two double crochet stitches into the same stitch. So there's one into the same stitch, the second double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. into the next stitch, one double crochet and into the last stitch here, one double crochet see our join from the previous round. There's our chain one, chain two. 
So we want to join into the top of the chain two. So into that second chain under both loops. We make a slip stitch to join this round. So at the end of round five, you should have 48 stitches. For round six, we'll start with a chain two. One, two. We'll be starting a repetitive sequence and the first part is two double crochet stitches into this next stitch. There's our first one and now we'll do a second one into that same stitch there. Now the second part of the sequence is one double crochet into each of the next five stitches along. So one double crochet into each of those. Here's one, move on to the next one. There's two, move on to the next stitch. There's three, next stitch, four, to the next one, five. So that's the sequence you'll use right around. So once again, that's two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So you'll be repeating that right around up until you have five stitches left. And I'll show you what to do with those five remaining stitches. I'm up towards the end of round six and I've got five stitches left here. One, two, three, four, five. So in this next stitch we'll be doing two double crochet stitches. And this one and into the same stitch we do our second one. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. Into the next, one double crochet. Into our last one here, one double crochet. You can see the join there from the previous round. There's our chain one, chain two. We want to join into that chain two. So let's pop your hook under both loops. make a slip stitch and that will complete this round. So that's the end of round six and this is what 
the crown will be looking like now, the crown of the beanie. So at the end of round six you should have 56 stitches. So once you've finished round six, that is the crown of the beanie completed. So now we'll start working on the sides. So for round seven, we'll start off with a chain two. So one, two. And what we'll be doing is one back post double crochet around the post of each stitch, right around. So this is a back post double crochet. And what it is, really, is it's, it's still a double crochet, but you're going in through the back here and working around the post of the stitch rather than a normal double crochet, which is crocheted into the top of the stitch. So it's still a double crochet, but just working in through the back. And therefore that's why it's called a back post double crochet. So moving on to your next stitch, and you're just going to keep making back post double crochets into each stitch right around until the end and that's what gives it this ridged look here that's what it looks like on the other side so another back post double crochet so I'll let you continue on making your back post double crochet stitches into or around the post of each stitch right around until you get to the end here and you'll be making your last back post double crochet around the post of this stitch here and I'll see you there. So now I'm up towards the end of round seven and we're going to join into the top of this chain two. So there's the chain one and there's the chain two. So we're just going to slip the hook up under both loops of that chain two. And then we're making a slip stitch to join this round. And at the end of round seven, you'll still have 56 stitches. Now for rounds eight to 14, you'll repeat round seven and you'll get this look as you go along and you'll still have 56 stitches at the end of each of those rounds so I'll see you at the end of round 14. I've just finished round 14 so now this is what the beanie hat will look like. So that's what your back post double crochet stitches have created. Now we're going to do our last round and this is the edging and it's just a nice simple one and we'll just be slip stitching into each stitch right around. So here you can see this is where we're going to start in here. Just 
just by making slip stitches. See that gives it a nice little edge. So I'll let you continue on making your slip stitches into each stitch right around. And your last slip stitch will be made into this stitch here. So not in here, but this one here. Okay, so I've just made my last slip stitch here into this stitch here. So now we're ready to cut our yarn. Just leave enough of a tail that you can weave into your work. And we'll just finish off. Now you need your yarn needle. just weave your yarn, or thread your yarn, sorry, through your needle. Now with the back here, where you can see that you've made your last slip stitch there and you've finished off here. Just go down through the middle of that next stitch here. And that just makes it look even. Now on the inside of the beanie hat, I'm just going to weave your needle down through here making sure not to pull too tight because otherwise you'll pull that down and you want that to stay even up there so just keep going down Then turn your work around like this. Skip that loop there and take your needle back up this way. And cut that tail off. And now you've still got one other end to weave in and that's in the middle. So just turn your cap inside out and thread this through your yarn needle. Now where you can see that you can give it a little pull there to pull it on that side and then weave your needle around this way. Sometimes you might have to give it a little wiggle just to get it through.
and then that'll tighten up as you can see even more and then you just keep going around not too many times otherwise it gets a little bit too chunky at the top there and then skip a loop here and just go back in that direction and we can cut that off. So there's our ends weaved in. Turn the beanie hat back in the right way. So that is a look at the hat off the head at the back. And that is what it looks like off the head at the front. And that is what the crochet beanie hat in the child size looks like when it's worn on the head. So if you'd like to share a photo of your crochet beanie hat, you can do that on the Crochet Hooks You Facebook page. Thank you.